If you watched last week, you saw us leaving the Inside Passage in British Columbia and sail to Vancouver Island to vote in the Swedish election. We continued south, fighting the currents in Johnston Strait and timed the passage with treacherous Seymour Narrows, avoiding the 50 knots of current. Vi sätter upp den hit så kan vi ta och bära bort den tillsammans och lyfta av den sen. So it's goodbye for our washing machine. We have uh, taken the decision to get rid of it. We need the space and there's a problem with it. The how do you say the discharge pump doesn't work anymore. And yeah. And we don't use it that often and we need a space. So, and the weight. Yeah, and the weight here in the front as well it will be because when we added that, that amount of chain to the anchor in the Canaries, that together with this washing machine isn't very good for the sailing up here. So Trevor, one of our followers, he's going to help us with this pickup truck to take it to the recycling center over here. Back there again. Ah. Yeah, he did. Washing machine. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Trevor, for helping oh, us. <laughs> My family has arrived. <laughs> they brought goodies for me, or for us, <laughs> but not for me. Especially this. Especially this, and this, and this. Licorice. Salty, salty licorice. Mm, tack så mycket. Det är gott. Det är gott. Alltså dom från Finland. Mm. Oh, det It was my dad, his fiance and my younger brothers that had come to visit us. After settling in in the boat, we drove a few miles outside Campbell River to see Elk Falls. Elk Falls is a provincial park, and here are giant Douglas firs, sequoias and cedar trees dominating. In 1947, a hydroelectric station and dam was built upstream, above Elk Falls. The dam controls the flow from the water magazines above the station.
The suspension bridge was completed in 2015 and hangs 64 meters over the river. So we're walking down to have a closer look at a waterfall and I will try to maybe fly the drone as well. I mean, it's pretty slippery out there. I think you can go all the way out, but yeah, it's slippery. <laughs> When the water level is too high in the dam, BC Hydro releases water. They put up warning signs beforehand and then alert with a siren before the opening. The river increases so much in size, making access to the riverbed impossible and the shoreline very dangerous. Several people have actually died here when they haven't moved out of the danger zone in time. The rain had stopped and the wind had calmed down, and we left Campbell River to sail east to Desolation Sound. Det är kul att segla. Ja. Hej mm. hej. Hey. Does it feel good? Yes. Mm. It's fun? Yes. What does it mean when you stop? Uh, uh, yeah. In layman's terms, it means mm. that you're... In this case, we went too high into the wind. So, yeah, the mast is like a standing uh, aeroplane wing, you could say. Mm. And when you stall, you lift, you lose lift in the sails. Mm. So the force that makes us go forward, we lose that force. Mm. So that's why we, we have to fall off a bit, so we doesn't, we don't go too high into the wind. There's a lot of uh, technical terms and. Uh, around this but in layman's terms that's what stalling is you go too high or you lose lift on the sails cool. the, under pressure on the leeward side of the sails you you lose that 
something like that. <laughs> we were beating in the headwind towards Cordes Island and we saw several humpback whales on the way. After a walk around the bay, we ended the evening with dinner in the cockpit. Are you ready for another day? Yes. Where are we going today? I don't know. So we just left Cortes Bay and uh, we're heading for the mainland today. And we only have yeah, around 10 nautical miles to go. So it'll be a short day, not much wind and the little wind we have is headwind so we're motoring. The top of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Desolation Sound Marine Park is an area east of the Georgia Strait. The area got its name by Captain George Vancouver, who mapped the area on an expedition in 1792. He claimed that there was not a single prospect that was pleasing to the eye, and therefore named it Desolation Sound. I guess they had different preferences back then. Approaching Tinidos Bay, our anchorage for the night. Um, some people say that the water here in Desolation Sound is the warmest waters north of Mexico. But I'm not sure if that's true in September. <laughs> right now it's 15 degrees Celsius in water. So at least not for me, it's not bathing temperature. It's missing like 7, 8 degrees. At least 5. I don't know if there is any other areas here in Desolation Sound where it's supposed to be a bit warmer. I mean, the weather was pretty nice if we go back like a week. It was sunny and, you know, we had like 25 degrees Celsius. So I don't know. If 
this is normal in September, 50 degrees. It's like home, I would say. But it drops to 15 in September. And maybe during July and August it comes above 20, I don't know, around here. Are you gonna swim? Mm, maybe. Maybe, wow. You're a true biking. <laughs> Oscar and I rode ashore to tie a stern line to a tree, to keep Ron in place in the tight anchorage. Tenedos Bay is a landlocked basin, making it a very protected anchorage. Just a short dinghy ride and walk from the bay lies Unwin Lake. We're by the Unwin Lake. We're walking on a trail. We're looking for where we can go down to the water. I think we will have a swim. I'm not sure if uh, you are. I don't Gonna know. Take a swim. <laughs> Maybe it's like 17, 16, 17 degrees. Well, that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Papa, call up, Betty. How does it feel? Oh. You won. <laughs> Was it now warm and cozy? No. Super cold. No, 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 Det var skönt. Vi tar 
har sin tur. Nu, ja, nu känns det bättre för nu har jag dömat bort. <skratt> Lumberjack dance. Thanks for watching. We'd really appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe to follow our journey. Join us next week as we continue to cruise in the Salation Sound.